The status quo is untenable. Systemic racism needs a systemic response. We need a transformative approach that tackles the interconnected areas that drive racism and lead to repeated, wholly avoidable tragedies like the death of George Floyd. I'm calling on all states to stop denying and start dismantling racism, to end impunity and build trust, to listen to the voices of people of African descent, and to confront past legacies and deliver redress. We examine death at the hands of law enforcement officials in different countries with varying legal systems and found striking similarities and patterns. Several families described to me the agony they faced in pursuing truth, justice, and redress, and the distressing presumption that their loved ones somehow deserve it. It is disheartening that the system is not stepping up to support them. This must change. States must show a stronger political will to accelerate action for racial justice, redress, and equality through specific time-bound commitments to achieve results. This will involve reimagining policing and reforming the criminal justice system, which have consistently produced discriminatory outcomes for people of African descent. Only approaches that tackle both the endemic shortcomings in law enforcement and address systemic racism and the legacies it is built on will do justice to the memory of George Floyd and so many others whose lives have been lost or irreparably damaged. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world and tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about.